because I had met Thay Jones from uh, an association with the university and so forth, and he was just a young, struggling architect trying to get started, you know, like everybody else. And so one day, across the street from us was a, a drugstore that had a little, a little soda fountain stand that you could eat sandwiches and so forth. And I ran, I ran into Faye across the street. We were there, both of us having a sandwich. And he said, you know, I would really love to have an office on Dixon Street. I'm going to be doing more outside work. And uh, he said, you could use a nice store too. Would you consider maybe building a building uh, and I could rent some space in it? And I said, well, I don't have any money to build a building. And he said, well, maybe you could get a loan or something from the, you know, talk, talk to the business uh, professors up there. And so it seemed like an impossible uh, mountain to climb, but it was something to look at. So anyway, I talked to some of my professors at the university, and, and along the way, somebody told me about creative financing, that's what they called it back then. They may have a different name now. But creative financing was one where the lending agency, which turned out to be Union Life Insurance and Little Rock, they would loan up to 80% of the cost of the building. And you had to put the other 20% with it. Well, I didn't have 20%. I didn't have any percent to put with it. So figured out a way, legal, but without the insurance company knowing about it, where they would put up the 80%, and then the 20% would be put up by other people, like the air conditioning people, the architect's fee, uh, other things that a builder would normally pay for up front, I was able to get it financed over a period of time so that essentially I didn't have any money in the deal. Now that's still done today. Uh, that's a common thing for entrepreneurs to do. But it was new to me, and it was and it was a way to get the building built. And Faye was going to have his offices upstairs on the second floor, and of course his rent was going to be part of the down payment that was that would be my twenty percent. When 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 the building was being built, Faye kept wanting to, we had a bid had to have a bid on the building. Somebody had told me he said with. With Faye Jones, you better have a firm bid before you start the business because it'll just escalate and, and it'll be more than you can afford. So I knew that and I had the firm bid. <clears throat> Faye and I would meet twice a week or so, usually at the little uh, drugstore across the street where they had a soda fountain and have a sandwich and we'd visit about the building and the progress and everything. And Faye kept wanting to add things, you know, wanting to do this, that, and the other and special lightings and he liked to have mirrors up in the ceilings, you know, and all these little things, these trappings that make his uh, design so great. But they weren't in the bid for the building. I mean, they would have been extra things and he kept pushing and pushing and pushing. And so finally, I told him one day, we were having lunch, and th this was a day when he wanted to put some little tiny mirrors up in the corners of the ceilings to add some glitter, you know, to it. And, and I said, Faye, you need to understand two things. Number one, there is no money to do that. The, the, the amount of the loan is fixed and firm and absolutely dead center. I mean, there is no room for you no. Know, negotiation or increasing the loan. That's the first thing. Second thing is, even if there was money for it, and we put things in that increase the cost of the building, that means your rent is going to go up. And all of a sudden, the light comes on. <laughs> <laughs> the architect now sees that it would affect him as a tenant if the rent went up. But we got along famously. He he was he deserves every accolade that he's received. The guy incre incredibly talented and just he had the ability to solve building problems in his head. He could he could look at a situation and understand the problem and in a very short period of time come back with a solution to it.